Alrighty, and welcome back, all my great and glorious advisors. I am your Imperial Commander, Acidids, and let's get into this Acidonian Imperial Report. So, we're basically, you know, this one, we're still just waiting on stuff to get done. We're waiting on things to get repaired, things to get restocked and reloaded. Go ahead and get back in there. I think we can go ahead and okay. so, question is at this point, do we want to go ahead and move things forward? I think we probably should. So we can go ahead and Check on the state of things here this way. There's no more ships coming through. We can go ahead and push forward. Might want to go ahead and wait till all of this stuff is totally uh, re resupplied. We've got one more we can send through. got this one just about done building its that latest complement of satellites then we'll just kind of move it up and drop the satellites on the next position this stuff is all ready to go satellite transports are both right there let's see they don't have anything on board do they nope so we need to get them stocked up with some satellites before we move them forward. We're building other stuff here. Don't necessarily want to do that. So instead we can bring them back here. Because we don't have anything being built at this facility currently. Oh yeah, we do. See, we weren't building anything up here. That's what it was, so this is the closest one. I think I'm gonna well, that'll be done pretty soon. So we can kind of build some more satellites here, because that's just a really good way to kind of push forward, I find. Again, Craft 57, thanks for that tip. I hadn't thought of just creating these big bulky or not bulky, but large blocks of uh, rings of the satellites and stuff. I hadn't thought of that before. I always used to use uh, space stations because I thought they were uh, a really good defensive thing, but I can see how satellites are just vastly superior. They don't cost anywhere near as much. They don't take anywhere near as long to manufacture, and you can just dump tons of them on there just loaded with weapons, basically. So, let's see, our satellite carriers, ship satellite, no, we don't need to build one, 2,300, 2,352, those are both 90 kilotons, let's figure on about 2,000. So we can build about 22 each. Take a little while, but then it'll take those a little while to get back there. And we can just kind of you know, load them up with satellites and then send them back on their way. Well, I guess it won't take them that long. It doesn't matter. We'll have this one ready to drop its load. <laughs> so 
not going to be a very uh, large complement of satellites, but again, the whole point is just slow them down if nothing else. So we've got all these guys ready to go. This one is pretty heavily loaded up on fighters. Two more victims we can add to our collection there. Planet killers, we can kind of move up. Don't want to be too uh, hasty. Nor do we want to be too uh, hesitant. That's why I said saying in the last one. I think uh, one of my big problems playing these games is that I'm just a little too hesitant to push. Sometimes on these, if you don't push, the computer will just walk all over you because they will. And they will not hesitate at all. They just do what their programming tells them to do, and that's just keep on expanding and pushing out and trying to kill you. Unless you seem powerful enough to be a threat, and then they'll try to make nice. Alrighty. So let's see what this one finished up. What anything good happened? Got those guys moving back. Torpedo weapons, upgraded, looks like that's all there is, just torpedo weapons upgraded for now, okay, so, ships we've got, large, the incinerator is a cruiser, Razor is our battleship, adversary, crusader, mauler. So these are all battleships. Focusing on various weapon configurations. Breaker. Damn, that's a lot of torpedoes. so we can get our first Dreadnought and improve our battleships all around and then we can start building some big ships. Big, big ships with our fancy new temporal space yard. And as you can hear, I remember to turn the music on this time, so there shouldn't be as much droning in the background from the fan and the air conditioner. You just gotta love it when it's already over and are hitting 100 degree days in friggin' June. Yes. And we also improve temporal technology so we can improve our temporal space yards. Yay, yay, yay. Mineral extraction went up and with large ship structure. Alright, so we can kind of hold down on this, I think. We don't need to push on that so hard now. Um, we're gonna go ahead and just throw that in there. 
do. We're also going to go ahead and pull back pretty much on mineral extraction because we're doing pretty good there. And I think we'll go ahead and throw that into radioactives for the time being. Upgrade facilities. Missiles, torpedoes, or bombs. We have enough left for what? Four missiles, maybe five torpedoes. I'm going to err on the side of having a bit more firepower, a long range capacity. Okay, 
that gives us eight weapons. Throw on a little bit more armor. Maybe another point defense. I think I'll go with this one pure defensive capacity here and just stick on a couple more things of armor. Maybe, maybe what we really should have is some more ordnance. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the ordnance. 760 units of ordnance is all well and good for each one, but the, you know you can go through your firepower, your ordnance so quickly. That's why I like to have at least some energy-based weapons. In fact, instead of doing that, since the energy-based weapons do use supplies, let's go ahead and have a supply. But that way we can... This will be a pretty solid uh, ship. Strategy, just normal design name. been the only one watching these things consistently that's been leaving comments and stuff so you get a ship named after you. Craft 57 to a Type. Tech ship large. Look at that. 28, 50, 45 kilotons of armor, 1080 points of shield with two uh, generator, shield generators. 25,900 supply, 1920 ordnance. A little bit of attack and defense modifier there just to give it that, you know, maybe that little tiny bit of an edge. It's not much, but maybe in a just a straight up dreadnought versus dreadnought fight, that'll be what it needs to survive. Got some pretty heavy duty firepower here, up close and personal. Direct fire, pretty uh, solid long range capacity, in fact 230 on the uh, range on those, excellent. 180 range on those with some decent impact damage. And of course our good old buddies, the time distortion burst with its quad damage to shields which will quickly knock out shields. We've got our quantum generator, quantum reactors to generate supply, so it isn't reliant on supply ships or depots or anything. All in all, really solid ship. So now we can go in and upgrade these guys. We've got another 120 uh, kilotons we can put on here. Let's see. Also got some other, you know, everything else is upgrading here. And I think what really would be a good thing to put on here. Quantum reactor cannot go wrong with at least putting one quantum reactor on a ship. In fact, put a couple on. It's just I love the quantum reactors and putting them on here just because it makes them so. Uh, they don't run out of supplies as quick. It's just really useful. Very, very, very useful. We still got another 80 kilotons of space, so let's just give it a couple more torpedoes. Can't go wrong with firepower. Get that one obsolete, so we're. Increasing shields, armor, basically everything all around is getting better. Upgrade. This one's kind of the missile ship. So I think what we'll do here is just go straight down and throw a couple more missiles on it. And another point defense. And again, 
nice boost to everything else. This one is kind of a looks like more of a point defense ship. This one, I'm not sure what really any advantage over. This would be. Seem to be more or less the same design, only I added extra missiles. Well, this one has more missiles, this one. Um, honestly, I'm not seeing the difference here. Well, I guess this is a chance to make it something a bit different. We can see, so it has one missile, two of these. So we can start by doing that. That'll make a difference right there. That'll give it a heavier short range punch. And we can just couple of the quantum reactors. I think the last bit will just put some more armor on. gives it its own little bit of utility, its own personality. It's a short-range slugger sort of ship. Now this one is just a straight-up torpedo boat. No mistaking that at all. So... I think all we really want to do here is, again, a couple of quantum reactors, and I think I'm going to go ahead and stick some work in this pods in. A little bit more armor. Get that one obsolete. So yeah, just a straight up missile boat. <laughs> the Mauler. So this one is... Uh, I don't know if I want to keep this one around or not because it's actually got the, the crew quarters and stuff instead of... I think we'll go ahead and do that, only we're going to switch it over to the computer. I mean, it doesn't save a huge amount of space, but... I mean, does the bridge actually have any, you know? Master Computer actually gives you modifiers and stuff while the bridge... Maybe that's a research that I haven't done yet to improve the bridge or something, I don't know. But, I mean, tell me if I'm wrong, is there any disadvantage to using the computer? The Master Computer instead of, like, a human, you know, or, you know, racially controlled... Uh, you know, with a bridge and actual... Uh, an actual crew instead of just a computer controlled... Shit. I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and... That's not really what I wanted to do.
a bunch of those cannons, heavy ship mounts. Brutal close in fighter. Strategy, short range. Just, this is one of those ones you just wanted to get in and just beat things up. Yeah, four of those bastards. That's a lot of firepower that cannot be stopped by anything, really. You just have to take it on the nose. I can get rid of that. Kept missing stuff there. That's what. Another 10 bad. More armor. I need more armor. I feel the need for more armor. We really need this thing on here. amount of armor, a lot of cannons, a little bit of point defense just in case it needs it. <laughs> but yeah, it's not really designed <laughs> to, to survive. It's designed to get in and hit things really, 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 really hard. And then get blowed up. But that's okay. So, let's see, what do we want to build? We definitely want one of our Crap 57 Revenge. Craft 57's Revenge there. Get one of those building. Couple of them. One of each of them. Well, we got bit of building. And we have got all kinds of stuff building here. I'm just gonna leave that one alone until it gets done. And that one's already building stuff. So we'll just work with that for now. So in this turn, hopefully all our, our fleet and everything else is all uh, resupplied. Uh oh, what are our what are our little what are our little buddies up to here? Player two, what are you doing? Ziati. Hmm, they took a little while to get done with something. Moving a lot of ships around, maybe. Going into emergency builds, perhaps. We'll have to see. Maybe instead of attacking them, we'll wait a little while, a few turns, try and see if we can get our satellite all in place and then let them have to slog their way through all of our satellite defenses. Ooh, we stole technology from the chemistry. Well, advancement in chemistry. All sorts of stuff upgrady, upgraded, upgrading and upgraded. Good. Usual renewal of the treaty with these guys. Because they're apparently are paranoid that we're just going to forget that they're there or decide to stomp on them. We wouldn't do that to them. Maybe. Sorry, victim. You're gonna have to do something to help. You're 
going to be our... I believe this guy's done so we can move him forward. another turn and then we'll end the episode after we find out what's on the other side of that warp point. Little victim is going to have to die, probably. But that's what we made them for, to be victims. Yee, and those other guys are fighting again, still, forever. They don't like each other, apparently. That's okay. Entirely unexpected. Because we're starting to get into their territory now. Well, they want another different, a different tree. Share stuff. Ooh, I don't know about that. They want me to join their war. Eh, whatever. Just because we join the war doesn't mean we actually have to do anything about it. Alright, so... satellites to get done. Next turn we can send out our first set satellite transport have it load, and it'll be loaded up. We're already getting started on our new capital ships and this thing is just going to pump out ships like it's nobody's business. Which is awesome sauce. I have no idea where that originated. Good grief, look at that 6,380. Good grief, that thing is just going to be a monster for production. 1,676. That one's getting up there too. So this stuff will all get done pretty damn fast once we get past some of the, uh, the scanner, the farm, the collider, all this stuff. Then, oh, this will all just melt away. Alright, so that'll be the end of this one. We'll see you on the next one. Bye, diddy, bye, bye.